Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast I'll be breaking down a big pattern change that'll be impacting the United States for the next 10 days this will bring a huge cooldown to much of the United States meanwhile a heat wave will start to ramp up for another chunk of the United States I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll begin with the Ohio Valley and this is where a low pressure system continues to move off to the east this has actually brought severe weather dating back to Wednesday we saw a few tornadoes throughout the last few days ranging from the central plains all the way back into the Midwest now this low pressure system is beginning to weaken out so we're not gonna really see any major impacts out of this from here on out but it will still bring some showers and maybe a couple of storms along the way as it moves toward the east coast and once it gets to the east coast we actually could see some fairly heavy rainfall going into tonight as well as into tomorrow tomorrow for parts of southern New England so something to watch out for there but overall it is going to be a weakening system as it does move off to the east back down to the south into Florida we've had some severe weather down here dating back from Wednesday there was a few tornadoes even three EF2 tornadoes were confirmed both Wednesday and Thursday in Florida from the system it's moving down to the south we have a little bit of convection down in southern Florida but no more tornadoes in the picture with that system as of right now back in the central plains it actually isn't really bad weather there's just a lot of cloud cover behind that low pressure system so unfortunately if you're looking forward to watching the solar eclipse that happened this morning there is a lot of cloud cover it's really not going to be good conditions at all and then back down the southern plains much drier clearer conditions for that totality that's already happened and that happened around 11 50 this morning but that was the solar eclipse that was around 98 percent totality down that direction perfect weather without a doubt there and that will continue by the way for the next several days the next system that we need to watch for a little bit closely will be back over here west of oregon there's a low pressure system off the coast it isn't really expected to bring any major impacts to the United States at this time, and it's probably not going to really impact the United States much, if at all. So good news there, but it's going to be something to watch for for those on the West Coast for the next few days. But overall, the weather's not that bad across the United States. We have no active watches or warnings for 49 of the 50 states. Only exception right now is Louisiana with those red flag warnings. But other than that, we're really doing not too bad here across the United States, especially here for almost mid-October. So it's obviously pretty nice weather for this time of the year especially since our second severe weather season is technically supposed to begin right around now across much of the central and southern plains so again that'll start to ramp up a bit more i think as we head into the later half of the month and as well as into november all right let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be happening across the united states for the next several days and we'll begin with the jet stream this is what gives us an idea of the weather pattern that's happening across the united states and really the main feature that we have right now as of today is that low pressure system that's back over in parts of the ohio valley otherwise pretty strong jet stream right now across those areas that's keeping that trough really organized and really bring more rainfall to those areas once we go later into the weekend notice that trough will actually start to see a bit more of a stronger a little bit of a jet streak there just south of this low pressure system so something to watch for but again no severe weather out of this we'll have a ridge that'll start to build in on the southwest part of the united states by tomorrow so this will be something to watch for because what this will do is it's going to start to warm areas up especially across the great plains as we head into next week eventually as we going to monday into tuesday notice this high pressure system not overly strong but it will sit back down in areas like new mexico and arizona here's your jet stream so overall very big curvature here this is a meridional jet stream by the way that has more curvature back down the southeast united states very strong low pressure system this will usher in very chilly weather for much of the southern tier of the united states most likely by the way for multiple days so this will last uh, this cool down will last all the way probably through wednesday and thursday of next week as we go into friday and as well as into saturday we'll start to see a low pressure system perhaps really strong one start to develop and usher in more cold weather into much of the united states including the southern plains and as well as the mississippi valley perhaps the midwest so this will be something to watch for notice on the left side of this jet stream that is where a high pressure system will still sit so if you're in the southwest united states dry weather is likely over the next seven to ten days but things might stay active here across the eastern tier of the united states with another trough likely to impact much of the country and then once we go into next weekend things become much more uncertain but it will likely be a little bit drier as we head into the 22nd 23rd time frame of october
Now, if you're curious about the temperatures, we're going to have some pretty nice relief for much of the country. So as we go throughout the weekend, notice how much stronger this cold pocket of air, this cold air mass gets as it moves down to the south and southeast. These darker blues and even the purples that you're seeing are well below average temperatures. So really good news if you're anywhere from the central plains back through the southeast United States. Once we go into Tuesday and the Wednesday, that cold air just sits down there in the southeast United States and as well as the Ohio Valley. So again, very, very nice weather, especially for this time of the year. We could even have low temperatures down into the 40s if you're in Florida. Something to watch out for. Once we go into Thursday and Friday, we might have another low pressure system develop near the surface. This could usher in more cooler weather to the southeast United States, but back over in the western tier, notice this big box of well above average temperatures. So if you're anywhere basically west of the Great Plains, it looks to be pretty warm as we go into late next week. And then once we go into the weekend, things become a bit more uncertain. But again, it looks like we're going to have above average temperatures for a large chunk of the Great Plains next weekend in terms of rainfall that's not going to be really active i'm not going to lie to you there's really not a whole lot of stuff that we're watching for over the next several several days the only activity really through this weekend will be in the northeast united states once we go into tuesday into wednesday notice a high pressure system at the surface dominating a large chunk of the east coast of the united states back over in the northern plains a trough is up there that could bring some rainfall maybe to the midwest the chicago area but again nothing too crazy there maybe a little bit of severe weather perhaps on thursday in the ohio Valley, but again, nothing crazy. We're not talking about a severe weather outbreak. By Friday into Saturday, again, things become uncertain, but it doesn't seem to be very active. Again, we are pretty much looking at a very calm weather pattern, which to be honest with you, we really want. We, we don't want severe weather. We don't want hurricanes or anything like that, at least right now. It's a nice month overall so far across the United States, the exception being the first week or so we had that severe weather in the Southern Plains. But again, things are becoming a bit calmer, at least for the next week or two, which is good news if you're looking forward to some nicer weather. Weather. In terms of the weather across the United States from the Climate Prediction Center, they are forecasting above average temperatures from next Thursday. So this is the 19th until the 23rd from New England all the way back through the Pacific Northwest. And then in the Southeast United States, that's where below average temperatures are likely, especially during the beginning of that time frame. So really the rest of this week more than anything. As we go from the Saturday, the 24th until the 27th, that is Friday of this month, we are going to be talking about likely seeing above average temperatures all the way across really the most of the United States. The only the exception to this would be areas like Florida and Georgia, and that's mainly because it's going to stay pretty active down there. We're going to actually see some cooler weather, maybe some active weather when it comes to some storm activity. In terms of precipitation, we're going to be looking at below average precipitation for much of the United States. That goes from New England all the way back through areas in the west coast of the United States. So California, areas like Utah likely to be in that boat, back into parts of the northwest United States and the southeast section of the United States. We're talking about above average precipitation being likely. From Saturday the 21st until Friday the 27th same story really no difference here same stuff across the board in terms of total rainfall across the country as we go from now until next Saturday so the 21st of October really a large hole across the southwest United States blame the high pressure system that's going to be sitting down there for multiple days uh, we will have a little bit more active weather across this section so again the eastern tier of the United States anywhere from Texas all the way back into Florida as well as the east coast it'll stay active there and as well as areas like the Pacific Northwest there will be some activity up there but again large hole covering much of the great plains in the southwest united states temperatures tomorrow morning one of the coldest mornings so far of the fall is ahead we'll have temperatures below freezing spanning even from the texas panhandle back into areas like north dakota and also into the northeast we're going to be looking at mid 40s for low temperatures high temperatures for tomorrow afternoon for football sunday we'll be looking at high temperatures in the 50s across the midwest and as well as the 70s back down near the gulf coast and florida thank you so much for watching make sure to like the button down below and subscribe if you're not already